Hello kiddo, Sir E is here and today let's talk about molecular formula of a compound. <laughs> what is a molecular formula? Previously, we have talked about empirical formula and we know that our target in empirical formula is the smallest whole number ratios. If the empirical formula is different from molecular formula, you just have to remember that molecular formula will always be a simple multiple of the EF or empirical formula. For example, the empirical formula for hydrogen peroxide is HO, while its molecular formula is H2O2. If you can see, in both instances, the ratio of hydrogen and oxygen is 1 is to 1. So how do we calculate molecular formula? We have four steps to follow. The first one is to compute for the EF or empirical formula in case it is not given. Step number two, after finding out the empirical formula of that unknown compound, you have to compute for its molar mass. Then, step number three, determine the multiplier by dividing the given molar mass of the unknown compound with the molar mass of EF. Later, I'll show you an example so that you can visualize it easily. Lastly, Multiply the empirical formula subscripts by the multiplier found in step number three. For us to have a good grasp of this lesson, let's proceed to our example. This was the example given in the previous video on empirical formula. So we will just revise this question a little bit. And it looks like this. Same thing. The methyl acetate has the chemical analysis 48.64% carbon, 8.16% hydrogen, and 43.20% oxygen. And its molar mass is already given, which is 176.14 grams per mole. It is the only added information or data about this compound. Let us apply now the steps that we have discussed a while ago. The first step is to determine the empirical formula of the compound. So we will just make a short review of how to compute for the empirical formula for this problem. Step number one, percent to mass. So we just list down all the percentages of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Then an assumption that the sample is 100 grams. So therefore, all of these are equal to their respective grams or masses. Step two, we need to do conversion from mass to mole. So we have these solutions and then answers. Third step for the computation of empirical formula is divide by small. Once more, when we say small, it refers to the smallest value computed in the moles, and so it is 2.70. So all of the moles will be divided onto this value, and this will be our result. Since our target is to get the whole number ratios and carbon has decimal place or point, we have to proceed to fourth step, which is multiply till whole. So we have to think again of a number that when we multiply 1.5, it will become a whole number. And the smallest value is 2. So all of them will be multiplied by 2. With this, we get the subscripts for our formula. And our empirical formula for methyl acetate again is C3H6O2. Now we are done with the first step. Let us proceed to the second step wherein we need to compute for the molar mass of the EF, or empirical formula. Again, our empirical formula is C3H4O3. In the previous video, we learned how to use or compute for the molecular formula of a compound. So we will just apply it here. 
So we will just get the number of atoms present in the formula, multiply it by its atomic mass, and later on, sum them up. So this is for carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And this is their result. And when we sum them up, the result will be 88.07 grams per mole. And this will be our molar mass for C3H4O3. Since we already calculated for the molar mass, we can proceed now to step number three. We have to determine the multiplier by dividing the given molar mass of the unknown compound with the molar mass of the empirical formula, which we have computed. In the problem, the given molar mass of the unknown compound is 176.14 grams per mole. So we will divide it by 88.07 grams per mole, which is our empirical formula's molar mass. And the result will be 2. And 2 is again will serve as our multiplier. With this, we can proceed now to step number four. Multiply the empirical formula subscripts by the multiplier found in step three. Once more, this is our empirical formula, C3H4O3. Then let's use the multiplier, two. And once more, multiply it with their subscript. Thus, carbon has six, hydrogen, eight, then oxygen, six. And there you go. This will be our molecular formula for methyl acetate, C6H8O6. And we are done computing for molecular formula. And it's your turn to apply what you have learned by answering this drill. In this drill, you have to determine both empirical and molecular formula. You may pause this video to answer this question. Then afterwards, let's check your answers. Let us now check your answers. The correct empirical formula for succinic acid is C2H3O2. Then its molecular formula is C4H6O4. And that's it. We are done. I hope you learned how to compute for the molecular formula of a compound. See you again in my next Teach Blog. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>